What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, back on our Corvette build, as usual for the moment. Um, so, in the last episode we had worked on the reactor room and kind of came up with this design. Now, it's a little simplistic at the moment and subject to change, mostly because um, there's still room. I've still got room in the frame of the ship and stuff. Um, so we can expand this wall out further if we wanted to, you know, stuff like that. Um, so I won't say this is like the final design or anything. It's subject to change as always. If you have ideas and things, please keep the feedback coming. I look at all of it. I won't say that I'll use all of it or agree with everything, blah, 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 you know, all that good stuff. But uh, it never hurts to have more ideas. So, um, that said, I don't think I'm going to work any further on the reactor today because we kind of worked on it in the last episode. Um, but we might come back and revisit it eventually. Um, so, there's actually a couple of things I wanted to try. I don't know exactly. Um, I don't know exactly if the. Ooh! Runaway block. Um, I don't know exactly if we'll end up spending the entire episode on it or not, but... Oh, that was heavy armor. I thought that wasn't there for a second. I thought that was black empty space, and I was like, wait... Um, but there were a couple things that I got from recording the last episode of the Inspiration series that I actually want to try out a little bit of and see if we can get it to work. Let's use this hot bar. What it is, is in the last episode of the Inspiration series, for those of you that may not have seen it, um, I saw a really cool... Um, a really cool idea that I want to try and experiment with and see if we can pull off ourselves. And that remains to be seen, but, you know. Uh, let's grab our default ones, the airtight ones wide. Which one? I think these are the one by ones. I can't quite remember uh, where all these sit in terms of... Yeah, this is the one by one. Uh, this is the other type, I think. This is the airtight one and this is the regular one. Okay, I don't know how all this will impact in terms of how this actually works, but in... What was it? The last episode, I think. Oh, and solar farms. I need some soda farms. Um, ooh. Let's try farm. There we go. Ooh, and we have different size solar farms. Or oxygen farms. I'm sorry. Not solar farms. That's why they didn't come up. Dirt to dirt. Um, that was dumb. End cap. I don't know what those are for. But, let's go ahead and grab these, because you never knew. Um, I don't know what these end cap things are for. I guess it's just if you have a cluster of them, maybe? Oh, those are... Oh, those are bigger. Okay, maybe that's why. Okay, this is like a half... Okay, that's different. That's not what I was looking for. So they get shorter, but they also get smaller. Ew. Wait, no. Stop moving. No, those are all the same size. Okay, so these were formatted for large ships then. And these are actually small. Okay, these are the ones I want then. So the plan here is really quite simple. Um, it's the idea of having the solar farms on a piston and then having a metal plate over top of it so that when it retracts it looks like this is all well and good but when you extend it they'll come out to like the visible sections and we'll have our oxygen farms that's the idea uh, and I saw this in an episode in the last episode of the inspiration series and it really just kind of was like Ooh, mind blown. Like, I hadn't even thought to try that, but it was a really cool idea. Um, I do... 
I do think I'm going to turn off the mirror mode for now. Just so we can try this out a little bit. See if we can get it to work. Now my concern is actually the pistons. Because pistons tend to be finicky. They don't like to work right as far as connect the way I want them to. And especially when you're dealing with uh, blocks next to blocks. They really don't like that. Um, so that's my only real concern here is that I don't know if we'll be able to do what I'm actually hoping we can do because of having blocks next to it. Now, we could leave the top one. Maybe. That might help us a little bit. Let's try that. We'll start on the bottom here. Or, uh, uh second. Sorry, not bottom. And like I said, I don't know if this will take the whole episode. I also don't know if this will work. But I wanted to give it a shot. The other thing we've got to do is plan out the block spacing. So if the solar farms are three blocks long and we want the piston to extend two blocks then... but we want them to fully retract. So it would need to be like under here and then so let's put a block here for spacing. I don't really need my jetpack here, I guess. And we can kind of actually stair step this. I didn't really think about that. Giving us little placeholders. Sort of. And I don't know if I want to do all the way to the bottom. I'll probably do one away from the bottom. Assuming this actually works in the first place. Um, there we go. Okay, so that should give us our alignment of where everything needs to go. So this would basically be where the solar farms are going. Alright, so we need the pistons to go... Depends on what kind of piston we use, too. Let's start off with the default. Well, actually, let me let me find this out, too. Um, give me a control panel. And... Let's just extend this one and see how far out it goes. Okay, so it takes up this block... Oh, it extends it too. Interesting. That's not exactly what I was expecting. Good. Okay. So... If we place one right here... And then we place... An oxygen... Yeah, see, this is what I was afraid of. It doesn't like stuff being right next to it. It's really annoying in that way. Especially when you consider there's not a whole lot of ways to do this. Um, oh, wait a minute. While I've got it secured in another fashion, let's take this opportunity. I don't know if this will be permanent or not. I doubt it. But what I'm going to do is connect this so that because this is more of a test episode I suppose than actual design I wanted to kind of try this out and see if I could get it to work but permanency as far as mostly the conveyor um, system here the if I actually get this to work then this location and everything for the pistons and stuff will stay where it is. That's perfectly fine. Uh, but all this connection work is going to be different. But that way, what I can do is get rid of this cross beam, which is technically not doing anything. We'll put that there. Not because it really needs to be, but just 
because now I should be able to break this, and this will be free-floating now. Which is... Oh, come on. Man, these are so picky. That's the only part that I really, really severely dislike about pistons and rotors and stuff, is they are so dang picky. You can't have any single block around them ever at all. I know. I'm gonna, really? That too? Gosh, I gotta delete the whole ship to place one block. Oh, come on, dude. Seriously. I'm glad I don't have mirror mo mode on now, actually. Man. That's the only thing that makes me very frustrated when working with, um... When working with various stuff like that. Uh, is that it's very hard to work with because it's it just everything has to be like empty for you to actually be able to place a block anywhere and it's very annoying at least I find it incredibly annoying <laughs> I don't know about everybody else but for me oh it's so irritating and like this it just it won't let me place anything there it's like really guys you gotta be that picky wait a minute this isn't even the right dimension There we go. That's what I was looking for. And I can't play- it. I hate- I hate it. I hate it so much. Alright, well let's test this out before we actually do any of that stuff. Uh, that's not nearly far enough. So that's awesome. Let's try... I forget how far the standard pistons actually extend. Oh, they go way further. Okay. I can't get out of here. How did I end up like that? I don't know. Now, if I were to place a block... Here. Oh, really? Can I not even... And why won't... Why won't you work? It really bugs me so much. Like, just place. There's nothing in your way. I'm gonna have to redo this whole section. Just to get this stupid block to place. Are you kidding me? Alright. Now, let's see where it ends up when we retract it. Actually, let me move this up here, because I'll probably be flying around a little bit more. Okay, so that comes back. And if I placed... Block... Nope. Like that. That's perfect. Sweet. Alright. So that would completely conceal it. Awesome. Now the problem is actually going to be rebuilding this stupid system. And I also didn't think this through enough to have the foresight to realize this was not going to work because we're going to need multiple connections. So this needs to be conveyor. Alright, let's go ahead and put a conveyor on our hotbar there. That'll be easier to work with. Now, the other really big problem that we're going to run into, and I already know we're going to run into it, is placing multiple pistons and getting all of them set up. This is part of why I only wanted to do one side is because I don't know how well this is going to work and if I only do one side uh, then I only have to rebuild one side if it doesn't work. So there's that. And I'm going to get rid of these bottom ones even though I'm not placing one on the bottom just because it's going to cause a problem I can tell. Um, 
All right, what's the other thing? Let's get rid of a couple of these too, because we're not really using them. And we'll move... Actually, we'll do like that. There we go. That should be most everything that we need. And we're just going to move this down by one. Oh, wait, no, I can't do that. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. You do one here, and then a conveyor, and then that will move it by one. Okay. See, like that? <sighs> How do you get pistons next to each other when they won't place? It's so annoying. I apologize if I come across very frustrated about that. It's just something that has always bothered me. That it just refuses to cooperate. And it's very, very aggravating. Um, it would seem... That it's more cooperative once you've moved things. But I don't want to start rebuilding that section too much yet. Okay. Can't place that, because reasons. Alright, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to just extend these as we build them, and I'm just going to work on building the pistons out. And then I'll start retracting them and put the solar farms on them and see how all that goes. Um, so let me go ahead and do that so that I don't burn up all of our time working on just tedious stuff like this. But this will kind of give you the ballpark idea of what I'm attempting to do. Um, and then we'll see if it actually works or not. And some would argue I should probably just like, you know, build the wall around the first one first to see if it works. But I'd kind of just like to try the whole thing just to get a really good idea whether or not it'll actually work in the, the fullest construction sense. So let me go ahead and finish this up and see what we come up with. All right, so I've done probably about nine different attempts at this, different various configurations, and I've come to a conclusion. Pistons suck, basically. <laughs> That's pretty much all I have to say on this. Like, I can do this. This part of making the thing extend. The problem is there is no feasible way that I've found to rebuild what's around it without this thing getting hung up on something, blowing up, or not lining up properly at all. Now, having said that, I did go back and look at the, um, the build from the actual Inspiration series and found a couple of things that were good to know. First of all, you don't need a bunch of pistons. Uh, that wasn't working at all, really. Um, and as a better idea was the way that it's configured in that build is that the... Um, actually, this is not going to work here. Um, as the, um, the build in that one did it, you basically make a section type thing um, I think that might be right. And then... No, that's not right at all. Because this has to be... at the edge. Which this is two blocks behind. So, what we're going to do is add two more blocks. That way... Were we to add this, it would line up with this. But see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is complete crap because there's no feasible way to rebuild the wall around it once I have all of the things in place. On top of that, if you were to, say, add on to this instead of adding on to this wall, or add on while the piston was extended, then when it retracts back, it always gets hung up on stuff and then just blows everything up. So it's really been... I apologize if I come off a little frustrated, but that's just because I'm very <laughs> frustrated right now. Uh, because there just seems to be... It's such a cool idea to have these embedded in the wall and then have them extend ever so slightly. Um, and it's just basically not working because reasons. It, it won't work because these pistons 
anything attached to the piston has to be like this open around it in order to get it to work and I have no idea why there's I don't see a reason why there shouldn't be a way to build next to something so that it encases it and that way it doesn't wobble or go anywhere or get hung up on anything and blow things up which has been the biggest issue is even if I can build the rest of the wall it won't stay there because every time I do it it just ends up blowing things up so it's been a very frustrating process because it just won't it refuses to work basically um, and actually now that I'm looking at this this may not work that well either I might have to switch this around a bit uh, because this has to go here and then we need one more which doesn't appear feasible either. Um, let's put one of these here. Again, if I ever got this to work, this isn't exactly how I would set it up. Um, because that's a lot of conveyors that aren't really necessary. I'm just trying to figure out how to show off what I was trying to explain as to why there's been so many problems with this. Um, put another one there. And you can see we're building just fine right now. But as soon as I start moving the piston around, everything's going to fall apart. But I wanted to show you guys kind of my newer system of trying to accomplish this. I just don't know how to get it to actually extend and retract without like decimating the entire side of the wall. Uh, which obviously will not go well. Um, and that's that's something that has always frustrated me about pistons and rotors. I love the mechanics they add to the game, but I hate how it just seems like they're never usable because you can't build with them. You can't build around them like this. I should be able to put a block right here. What is the problem with this? I don't know. Reasons, you know. And that's the most frustrating part to using these um, pistons, really, in my opinion. Is it? But you can see if we did something like this, or any variation of it, really, um, you don't really need. Why is that one picking up and none of these are? Is that supposed to be doing that? Oxygen input, max required input. I think that's fine. So I can show you what I'm referring to. Everything extends perfectly fine. There's not even too much wobbling or anything like that, which is good. It's all great. Yay, great. And sometimes this apparently is not going to do it at all, but every once in a while you can get away with building while the piston is extended, but it rarely ever matters because then as soon as you retract it it ends up blowing everything up. So I'm going to try a trick that I have found to see if it works. Nope. This is... See, that's what I mean. This is... It's frustrating because this is such a cool idea and it's totally doable. The other frustrating part is I've seen it done which makes begs the question why won't it work on this when it worked on... <laughs> the other build we were looking at. So that's also frustrating me, is it's like, it can be done, because I've seen it done, but yet mine just won't work because my ship just decides it wants to be evil. Um, so yeah, that's that's really the part that's bugging me at the moment, is this is a really cool idea. With the design of the ship, it would work perfectly, except for the part where the rest of the ship I can't build, because, you know, these piston contraptions have to have like their you know a whole entire spaceship size worth of reserved area so that they don't touch anything that's the only thing that's that's the thing that really bugs me is this is not unplausible and for all intents and purposes if everything on this is just a single block width i don't understand why the width won't work is i guess my thing but in the interest of science uh, let me show what I was referring to earlier, because it apparently will let me do it here. So, assuming that we did something like this, right? You attach 
so the whole wall section comes out. Now, I would like to point out, yes, I'm aware this would defeat the purpose because the wall would come out and the solar farms would not, or the oxygen farms would not see as much sunlight. I get that. I'm just doing this as an example to show my frustration, basically. <laughs> Pretty much that's all this is about. This has turned from a productive episode into a this is why I hate pistons episode. <laughs> and again, I apologize for the frustrated tone. It's just frustrating when you have this super cool idea that you got from, uh, you know, seeing other people's builds, and then you go to do it. You're like, yeah, that would be cool. Let's do it. Hey, look, this is actually really conducive to this idea. Sweet. Yay. And break. That's the frustrating part to me. All right. Now, we'll even take this a step further, shall we? Let's make the whole bottom section. Not what I wanted. There we go. Since I can't seem to build on the ground, because, you know, reasons. Alright. So, in theory, if you were to look at this, the entire side panel could extend and retract. It would be cool. Oh, and one other thing. Let's go ahead... This is all going to blow up, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I just kind of wanted to show this as to what it would look like. Now, the idea here, in case it wasn't properly conveyed in the earlier part, is that this row should be attached to this wall. Uh, this row should be attached to this wall. And then all we would have is a single row that slid out of the ship. Right? That's all I really want. Just a row that comes out and goes ee, gets oxygen, and we don't need it anymore, retracts. Right? Right. Good. But, so we, we've we built, I've shown an alternative to, you know, I can't build around the blocks. Okay, well you attach it to the blocks, but now we've got everything basically lined up perfectly with the other blocks. Right? So this is gonna. This is where the problem lies. Now there is one other thing I could try, but it is yet to work, and that's maglocks to kind of guide the things in. But again, it doesn't ever seem to actually do anything. Um, do I need one more? Yes, I do. Okay. Actually, the maglocks seem to also cause problems as well. I do this because I saw in the inspiration build that I'm using... Actually, let me try a landing gear here. I saw in, an in, in the inspiration build that I'm referring to, which for those of you that watched the episode um, on Sunday know what I'm talking about, uh, that there was a landing gear around the piston in various different locations, and I thought to myself, well, maybe that's to, like, guide it in, keep it from wobbling, blah, 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 and that's yet to actually yield any results. It's pretty much just making me more frustrated because it's something else for uh, the piston and the contraption stuff to get caught on, which is really annoying, and ultimately the entire problem with this build. So you can see I've got precaution set up, we've got the wall set up, now watch, it'll probably work. Actually, I don't even care at this point. If it worked, I'd be surprised. But uh, we'll reverse it and watch the fireworks. Yay, fireworks! And just in case anyone decides to comment and go, well, it was because landing gears... I tried the same exact type of thing without landing gears. It always does the same thing. No, no matter what I do, if I have anything within a one-block radius of the piston... So essentially, for those of you that may be having trouble visualizing exactly what I'm talking about. If this is that piston over there going that way where the debris is, if I don't keep everything in like this manner. Nope, not that. This. If I have any blocks within this radius right? Within this little cutout section. When this is uh, extending or retracting, boom. 
pieces fall apart, stuff blows up, you get that. Doesn't matter how much of this I stripped off, or whatever. If I had anything around the piston, or anything attached to the piston, so essentially this contraption has to be added in to make a larger area. Um, so pretty much anything that was within a block of all of that, it breaks. Now I understand the idea of why that's there. My problem is it makes them, in my opinion, ultimately like useless because there's no way for me to build an enclosed hull. I can't seal this off to where it all looks like one ship and then part of the section just extends. Every time I do that, it always breaks. So if you're a piston expert, if you're looking at this going, oh, I see what you're doing, don't do this, here's a solution, here's a quick trick you can use, do let me know. It's been driving me crazy this entire episode. I cannot figure out how to do it. It's annoying, it's frustrating, help. If not, um, well, then I hope you got a good laugh at least. And this is a good idea, and I want to pursue it. I would like to see it through, but I just can't seem to find a way to make it work. And if I can't, then I'm just going to have to, you know, write it off. Um, the other thing is, if you're a piston expert and this won't work, do let me know that as well, because there's no point in banging my head against the wall when it's not actually going to do anything. Um, so yeah, on that note, let me know what you guys think about ways we might be able to get extendable pistons. Again, there are simple ways of doing it, like... Um, you know, placing a piston on the floor and placing, placing a solar farm and then just, or an oxygen farm and then just extending it. Again, you have the problem though with if I make it a one block space and build around it, it ends up blowing up when it extends and retracts. It's really, really annoying. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and I will see you all next time. Peace.